First tonight, a local woman is hospitalized with serious burns after fire swept through her home. It's a story we first brought you on Eyewitness News this morning. Investigators tell us last night's house fire in a cushionet was started by a candle. Tonight, we're hearing from the young man who rushed in to save the woman trapped inside. Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson has the details. New at 530 from the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom. It's not every day you hear about a fire rescue in a Kushnit. That's exactly what happened here overnight. Even more unbelievable is the age of one of the firefighters involved with the rescue. We went directly to the fire department to find out about a teenager's heroic efforts. Volunteer firefighter Adam Hebert got the critical call just after 11 p.m. Sunday, a two-story house fire on Cologne Street. Arrived on scene and I saw the flames shooting out the side and I said, wow, Got a big fire here. How big was this for the 19 year old who just finished training six months ago? The adrenaline's rushing. You're getting excited because, like I said, it is my first real fire that I'm going into. Inside, Hebert and other crew members found a 52 year old woman on the second floor. She had severe burns to her feet and had breathing troubles due to the smoke, but they were able to save her before it was too late. Just did what I had to do, my training. Uh, it was instinct. The Akushnet Fire Chief says rescues are a rarity around here. And amazingly, coincidentally, uh, last fire uh, with a rescue was 21 years ago at the same home. That happened two years before Hebert was even born. As for this fire rescue, the teen credits the success to the tight bond he shares with Akushnet firefighters, including his cousin. I've been close to my cousin ever since he was born, you know. Uh, Especially here too, you know, it's, it's, it's like a family. When you have a department like this where you can have a close-knit camaraderie, everybody kind of just feeds off each other and you just don't think you do. The chief says the victim was transported to Rhode Island Hospital thanks to the efforts of Hebert and his fellow firefighters. We're told normally the chief gets a drink for a firefighter after their first big rescue, but since Adam is still a teenager, iced coffee is going to have to do instead. With Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.